All right, welcome to the video, everybody. I don't have any fancy intros or anything like that, um, but if you click on this video, you're obviously interested in how the Buccaneers offense is similar to what the Patriots ran in New England. Um, and to be fair, they, they are different offensive philosophies. So the Patriots run an EP style offense. I'm not going to get really what into the different philosophies are. It's, you know, it, I, I think Belichick sort of molded it into this dink and dunk sort of approach. Um, and Bruce Arians sort of, uh, vertical style passing offense, sort of that Air Coriel. Um, not, not so much West Coast, but I mean, they're, they're obviously different philosophical approaches to, to an offense, but, I wanted to show sort of that there, there are many similar plays that you can look at from last year that the Patriots ran uh, and the Buccaneers ran. They're, they're pretty basic football concepts. Um, so I have two of them for you. Um, hopefully this video doesn't run too long. It, it's definitely going to run longer than, you know, the two minutes and 20 seconds that Twitter allows. So I'll have to upload it to YouTube. Um, but I've been hearing a lot of talk about how, you know, you know, how is Tom Brady going to acclimate to this offense? It's so different, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it is different, but, you know, we'll, we'll see in a second sort of similarities. So the first play I have, um, week one from last year, it was the Patriots against the Steelers. So I'm just going to play sort of the play um, in its entirety. Then we'll go back and sort of look at, you know, routes and, and things like that. So... Um, third and 10, Brady gets the snap and there was a pretty deep bomb to, I think, Philip Dorsett there. Um, you can see it better in the next angle. Um, this is the, the end zone angle. Um, and he gets a lot of air on the ball. So that's another myth sort of expelled is that he doesn't have a deep arm. I mean, this was last year. I mean, that ball travels a solid 45, maybe 40 yards in the air. Um, all right. So let's see if I can get these fancy little Windows tools to work. Um, okay, so well, let's back up a bit. All right. So to start, we have Julian Edelman in the slot. I know that circle is terrible, but we'll just have to deal with it. He's going to send him in motion, okay? And what that does is he, Tom Brady is trying to signal if the play is, or if the defense is running man or zone. Um, and we're going to play it really quickly just so you can see. He goes in motion, and as the play is sort of progressing or, or sort of uh, Edelman is is moving in motion, notice that none of the linebackers or defensive backs follow him. So I'll just rewind it really quick. So we have Edelman right here. Um, just take a look. Nobody's following him. All right, that's a key indicator that the play is zone coverage. Um, and I guess technically, you know, if you're playing zone, you can kind of pass off your man to, to the other side. But for the most part, if you don't see someone following, it's it's zone. Um, let me rewind a little bit. Another key indicator that it's zone is sort of looking at the feet of the defensive back. And it's not obvious um, at the bottom of the screen. I, so, so really, if you look at the corner here, um, whoops. so if you look at this corner and this corner, look at how they're aligned, okay? They're facing, they're facing Tom Brady, okay? And sort of that signals zone as well, because in zone, you want to funnel everything to the inside. So if he's lined up facing Tom Brady in that direction, you know, he can sort of use his body to funnel the outside receiver to the inside where he has help. If it's, you know, if it's man coverage, um, they'll sort of be turned the other way. So they'll be facing sort of the sideline and you're using the sideline as help. So you want to push the wide receiver, you know, into the sideline and that kind of gets rid of, kind of gets rid of, um, a lot of the open space. So those are some indicators of if it's zone or if it's man. Um, and I went through that pretty quickly, but that's, that's not really the important part here. Uh, the important part is the play. So what the Patriots run here is sort of a, it's, it's called a dagger concept. Um, and all that is, it's pretty simple. You're going to have this receiver run, you know, probably to the sticks in this situation. So that looks about 
10 yards or so and run in, you're going to have this receiver clear everything out and go deep. So the purpose of this play is um, this would be your first read is this route. This would be your second read. Okay, so you want the second read to clear this safety out. You, you want to push him out this direction. Um, and this creates a pretty big hole in the zone, all right? I, I believe it's a cover two beater. I could be wrong on that. Um, you know, cover two, meaning the, the two safeties are just playing deep zone. Um, so if you, if I play it really quickly, you can see, okay, this receiver here, he's going on a streak, and this one's about to cross in. All right, so so that's really the first read, and, and I'll tell you why. Brady doesn't throw it in a second, but that's a really basic dagger concept. Um, you have one receiver run about 15, 18, 20 yards and in, and one receiver is just running a streak to clear the, um, the free safety. So if we rewind it a little bit, um, it looks to be actually a cover four, I want to say. So cover four... Um, you know, you're just splitting the, the field into quarters. So this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy are all responsible for sort of the, this area of the field, if that makes sense. Um, so why does Brady not throw it to this guy? Well, if you look at the sort of the beginning of the play, it's third and ten, okay? And these safeties, let me clear this for a second. Oops. These safeties are playing the sticks, okay? This is the first down line. I know it's a terrible line, but you kind of get the idea. And if we play a little bit, they creep up to the sticks because they know that the pass is likely going to be, you know, around the first down marker. Brady can see that. Let me fast forward a little bit. So if you watch 34 here, um, the snap of the ball. You know, he's he's creeping up to the sticks. You see how far up he moved? That that safety does it as well, and he knows, okay, I have this easy touchdown over the top. Um, and that's that's basically just a dagger concept. I mean, he Brady throws it to the second read, but it, it's still the same concept. Now I'm going to play the, let's see, Buccaneers game tape. This was against the Saints, um, I want to say week five? I think it was week five. Um, so I'm going to play just this entire play. Um, and at first, you know, it might not look like the same play, but but it's exactly the same play. Jameis throws it to the first read this time. So if we rewind it, um, same dagger concept. You have this receiver clear out. I believe this is Chris Godwin. He's going to run the dagger, and you're, you're hitting him here. That That's really what it's designed for you're clearing this safety out and if you know this linebacker is sort of dropping into this coverage this linebacker is probably dropping into this coverage you want to loft the ball over all of that right into here i know that was extremely messy but i think you guys get the idea um so if we play it and so we see i think that's this is uh cambray right here he just runs a hitch route so he just does this and then stops. Um, he's not really in the play. He's probably the third read. Um, we have Mike Evans at the top here, um, and he has a bracketed safety, and he's basically just running a streak. He, he's not really in the play. He's just um, sort of distracting the defense. Um, the important part, Chris Godwin right here, and he's about to turn in um, and get that completion. So I'll we'll fast forward it. It honestly wasn't a great route and it wasn't a great throw so if we I wish I could zoom in a little bit but um so if we watch this you know he, he kind of rounded out his route here the throw really should be um you know it, it needs to be over here more but you know it's a touchdown you can't complain that much um yeah, I guess it sort of was it it seems like Godwin had to stop. I think Jameis needs to throw it a little bit earlier, sort of when he's cutting. Um, but, you know, he, he could have been reading this deep receiver here. I'm not really sure exactly, you know, where his eyes were or if there was pressure. Um, 
and you know Chris Godwin makes a, a good play for a touchdown, so we can watch the uh, the end zone angle really quickly. Um, seems like okay. So if you look at his eyes, um, and, and you know this was late in the game. I think they were down thirty-one seventeen. Um, let's see. So on the snap of the ball. Okay, you can see his eyes are right here. He's not. It's. It seems like the 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 first read is really that streak route because, you know, if he was looking at Chris Godwin, it'd, it'd be more over here. He's looking in this direction, um, and then you can see as we continue the play, he turns his head right there. He turns to Godwin. He says, "Okay, it's not there. I'm just gonna sort of throw it, um, you know, at, at Godwin instead." So it seems like in both of these plays, the the primary read. Um, may have actually been the streak. That, that's not really how the dagger is designed. It's supposed to be sort of that, you know, 18-yard uh, in route. Um, but that is sort of one example of, you know, how the Patriots and the Buccaneers, you know, ran similar plays. It, the dagger concept is very basic. I mean, they run it in high school. Um, they obviously do a lot of things, you know, on the outside or, or sort of the opposite side if you watch this uh, play here. Um, Seems like this seems like the opposite side. They run a stick here. Um, you know, I'm not going to get too complicated with what that is, but this guy seems to be running a flat. And this one just sort of does this. Um, <clears throat> when you could do a bunch of different things in the uh, the Cameron Brait play, or, or sorry, the uh, the uh, Chris Godwin touchdown, Cam Brait. Um, sort of did this and did a hitch right here and sort of sat in the zone. I, I mean, you can do a bunch of different things, but the core concept is still the same where, you know, you're, you're running this receiver in and this receiver is running deep and that's called a dagger play. So I hope that, um, was informative. I hope people, uh, learned a little bit about X's and O's. I'm by no means an expert, but, you know, I've talked to people that, you know, break down all 22. Um, and I mean, you can find information online about, you know, all sorts of things. So um, if people liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you, you know, could drop a comment, say what you liked about it. I could do future videos, um, you know, similar plays, but uh, that's all I have for now. So I hope everyone uh, has a good draft. I think it's um, time of this recording. The draft is in two days, so we'll see what happens.